So this is the new trend on YouTube. I'm not hopping on here for likes and clicks and views and all of that. I'm hopping on here because I want to clarify that not every teacher in this niche speaks for all of us. This is very important. Now you might know exactly what I'm talking about and you may have no clue, but either way you need to stick around because these words will impact your crafting journey and well, if you listen hard enough, they can impact your entire life. I will not be speaking on silhouette today. I will not be dropping any crafting hacks, but I beg you to stick around and listen to this because it is important. If you are on any type of social media right now, it is important. So here we go. Stop hesitating to ask the questions. There are no dumb questions and these questions help to grow the community. When I started out, I had questions. I had so many questions and I went to these groups and I asked the questions and people answered them. It wasn't always the moderator of the group that came to the rescue. All of the community came together to answer these questions and pretty soon I was at a point where I could answer the questions and guess what happened? My confidence grew. Every time I was able to answer a question, I became more confident in what I was doing. Please ask the questions. Number two, stop being afraid to post your projects. They don't have to be perfect. Every time somebody sees pictures of something interesting in the Facebook group. They can become inspired to try something new, to step out of their box. Somebody is always at a different point in their journey than you are. Somebody could be just getting started and they can see your project and say, I'm going to try that. It does not have to be perfect. Stop making yourself small to fit into places where people seem larger than you. Again, this goes back to everybody as at a different point in their journey, but everybody deserves a space in this community. Whether you're just starting out or you've been doing this for years, it does not matter. We need to build a community that welcomes all of the crafters. And if you don't like a question, you can scroll on past. Stop the cycle of negativity. Don't feed into it. Just scroll. We're, we're lucky on this YouTube channel and in the Facebook group. And I have tried to create a community where people support each other. And so far that has worked. And I'm sure when as we grow larger, there will be more and more trolls or people that are unkind or maybe somebody's just having a bad day or whatever it is, but don't feed into it. If something is bad, let me know and I will either delete the comment or have a conversation or something. The only way to get rid of the negativity is to ignore it. And that brings me to my favorite saying, this is like my life mantra right now. Your opinion of me is none of my business. I want you just to sit with that for a minute. They can think whatever they want. It may be right, it may be wrong, it does not matter. Their opinion is none of your business and when you start to realize that, you are going to be better off in your crafting journey and you're going to be better in the whole journey of life. Guarantee it. This last one is a little bit difficult for me because I don't want to put myself in a box. This is a very generalized statement and it doesn't apply to all of the content creators, but it does apply to some. So you need to stop putting content creators up on a pedestal. They are people just like all of the other people out in the world. Some of them are really, really good and some of them put on a facade when the camera starts rolling. It is super easy to become somebody else when the camera is running. 
with that being said, I will not ever come on my platform and scold or berate somebody. Never. And if I do sometime in the future, y'all need to come at me. You need to let me know. And I, and I will retract it. I will delete it. I will apologize because that's not what I'm here for. I started this YouTube channel 18 months ago and it is my job. I work well over 40 hours a week on it each and every week. And if we're gonna be honest, at this point in time, I make less than minimum wage and that's okay because I started this to grow a community and eventually it will pay some bills. I'm not asking for money or any of that. I'm just letting you know that I am growing a community and I would like to pay some bills eventually. But even if I make a million dollars on this app, community will always come first. Now, I've got to get back to the sticker video that I was in the middle of making. That'll come out soon. In the meantime, go create something amazing and I'll see you next time.